So right here is where yeah. the police. The police came came down from there, mm -hmm. all the way all the way down. Because he was talking with his with his son. This is and what? he was in this building. That's the building. So, okay. You know they change it. They change it on the second floor. Young black expats here. So I am in front of the building where Pablo Escobar died. This building right here is where he died at. We're coming down from, from that street down here. And Pablo was standing at that window. That window right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. So the police who was searching for him he, he knew that he was Pablo. Mm. And Pablo knew at that time that he got, that, that he got his place. Exactly. Wow. So he, they, they come around that corner and, and bring the an whole ambush, uh, an ambush and, and the whole police. So so as you see, as you see, this is, the, this, is, this is the place right here. You see that second floor? This is, see this building? This is the place where Pablo died, Escobar died, right here. We're standing there, right here. They, they rebuilt it, they, mm -hmm. they changed it. They rebuilt it, they remodeled it. They remodeled it, right. Because he has an stairs uh, up there. Exactly. In order to go to the second floor. He knew that he was caught. Mm -hmm. Um, the only place that he has to, to run was the back part of the, the, build, the second build. floor. Okay. So at that time, it was a very uh, big window. He broke it and he jumped it to the, uh, to the next, next house okay. in order to uh, run away. Okay. But police was, uh, was around, surrounded. Already in So this uh -huh. is the place where he uh, jumped. Right here. Okay, so from this is where he died, and his body was there. So they brought the police brought him down from this area right here. This is where he was, mm -hmm. and the police brought him down his dead body. <laughs> What's going on, young black expat? So next, we're on our way to the town that Pablo Escobar built for the people. So stay tuned. What was his main error? His main mistake? Mm -hmm that he got into the Congress, exactly. into, government. Uh, into government things. And he was, that was it. So you're saying y'all like, like the people in Medellin liked him at first? See, people in Medellin liked him at first because he was doing very fine things for poor people. Like the thing we are going to see. Uh, that's why uh, we came first to see where those people lived at that time. Mm -hmm. He lives in a, in a very extreme, poor situation. Okay. So uh, he lived, He was brought up in a very poor situation? Probably. No. Okay. No, he didn't, but, uh, but uh, because he has a, a lot of money, he, he was expecting to, to, to see people better have a better life for people and then he took those people from there mm -hmm. to to the, the to place the super that, that okay. he built mm -hmm. so we, we're just talking right now on our way there and he was telling me about a factory that pablo had and a little bit away from here, you know, we think it was a cocaine factory, but actually he was doing heroin factory. No, 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 he was trying. He was trying. He, 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 okay. he didn't do it. 
Okay. Uh, he was building. Oh, he it. was building. Yeah. So he was trying to do, and he was trying to do a heron <laughs> factory, <laughs> so and trying to get at least a thousand kilos of heroin <laughs> a day out of the factory. <laughs> So, so maybe this was a key component in, in the reason why they had to shut him down because he was trying to do heroin a thousand kilos. That's crazy. That's crazy. You're going up in the city. We are we're getting close to the place. But at that time, it was up in the mountain, but everybody said that it was uh, far, far mm -hmm. away. But it now it isn't. It is part of the city now. This is part of the city. As you can imagine, this is the, oh, this oops. is. Listen. Yeah, this is the let real let Colombia. Me see, let me see. Let me see. Let me see if look up there, up there in the mountain. Yeah. Up there. Uh huh. Up there. See? That's the that's, that's the uh, the place. Oh, that's the place. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. That's good. Can you imagine that shit? Yes. Wow. But nobody until now. That's why I, I tell, I'm telling you that, that he was a very intelligent man for this kind of place. Up there. Exactly. Up there. Up there. Yeah. So up, up there. here. That's the that's the that's the. Uh, that's the, um, uh, the, suburb. the suburb. Yeah, so up here is the suburbs. We're going right up there. That's the suburbs. Look, up there. Up there. Right there. Mm -hmm. All over there. So right here is the, the suburbs that he built for the people. Mm -hmm. That's that, it. That one. Yep. Mm -hmm. That one is. Those up there, all right? Yep. We're going through the hoods. We are getting close. Check this corner. Very important, this corner. You see that, that one? Everything there. Yeah. So everybody in the evening, everybody stays there. And they sell things there. Okay. Oh, okay. That's what we call pumping. That corner is pumping. <laughs> that means there's a lot of activity yeah. on that corner. So guys, we are at, this is the real Medellin. This is the real, this is the real deal here. Mm. This isn't the tourist spots and this is like, like the, yeah. <laughs> like the Bronx. Yeah. The Bronx. Real deal out here. Okay. All the way up. Okay. So this is where Pablo started the community for the people. It starts here. And we're gonna go all the way up. All the way up. All Not the way up. Oh no, yeah, those are new buildings out here, the skyline, but as far as this neighborhood, mm -hmm. this is a very authentic Colombian Medellin neighborhood, as you can see. That's the church. So this is the church right here that Pablo Escobar built for the community. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is it. That's it right Everything here. Everything there. Everything here. 
look, look, look at the, those, those stairs. Yeah. This is it. So you watch Narcos. This is where I'm, I'm here. We're right in the place. We're in the heart of it right now. Uh, we cannot come here during the evening. You can't come. This is exclusive. You can't come here at, at night. There's no way that I can be able to come here mm -mm. and film at night. Mm -mm. So this is exclusive. Mm -mm. We cannot do it. Can't do it. You can't. This is the stairs right here. You see it? Listo, hágale, hágale. That's beautiful right here. That's the the most, uh, those are the most dangerous places in Medellin, those the most dangerous parts we're looking at right the, now in Medellin. All of that. Right here. We're gonna go to the Bears place and that's Pablo Escobar's brother. Uh -huh. We're gonna see if it's, if, it, if it's open. There's a, a discotheque before. This was a discotheque. And Pablo Escobar owns. Disco 77. So he was saying that they closed this road right here for a race, a bet that Pablo made. With Cuchilla Londoño. Yes, and that was his name. And um, that's not it. It's gonna be it. And he closed this whole section down for him to race. I think it, I think uh, Pablo had a uh, Porsche 944. And um, Cuchilla, what's his name? Cuchilla. Cuchilla. He uh, had a Camaro, a Camaro, souped up Camaro. Bears place. Uh -huh. This is where they live. And for for y'all, for people who don't know what the bear, who the bear was, that was Escobar's brother. This is the place. Thank you. 